Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And earlier this morning, Sprint had their earnings call. They are a quarter behind the other carriers, so they reported their first quarter earnings. And they had a good quarter. They added 88,000 postpaid phone net additions, which is eight consecutive quarters of growth. Also, they stopped the bleeding on the prepaid side. This same quarter, a year ago, they lost almost 300,000 prepaid net additions. This quarter, they added 35,000, which is the second consecutive quarter of growth on the prepaid side. Also, one thing I want to point out, this is the first quarter that Sprint posted a profit since 2006. So it's slowly starting to turn around. If they can maintain profit throughout the year, then I think you can really start seeing the turnaround happening as they start making actual profits. So that's really good to see. Also, people are porting their business lines over the Sprint. Their additions are up 50% year over year. That's kind of shocking to see. I didn't think that businesses would actually port over the Sprint, but they're porting over. And their enterprise churn is the lowest in over two years. So the businesses that are switching, they are staying with Sprint. So Sprint must be doing something right. But in from the most part, I think it's the pricing that's very attractive. And then next, again, Sprint's network it continues to perform at the best levels. They're going by the Root Metric Awards. I mean, a lot of people think that Root Metrics is biased, but the only reason people think that is because they rank T-Mobile fourth. Earlier, Neville Ray tweeted out that Sprint's performance has been the worst in over six months, da 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 I just think that the third-party testing firms that T-Mobile uses do not include calling, and calling is still their weak point. They still have a lot of issues in their calling department, the voice over LTE, drop calls, and a lot of you guys have confirmed that in the comment section down below. And T-Mobile only you know they only show their data performance and how good they do and they do good in that department and root metric shows that as well but on their calling the crowdsource maps they all show that t-mobile is the worst in a lot of areas on the calling so definitely just wanted to report this to you guys uh sprint is getting better their turnaround is i think in year three out of five marcelo said that it would take five years to turn sprint around this is either year three or four they're posting profits. They're getting customers to come back to Sprint, not at it at the high rates as T-Mobile, posting eight hundred thousand people. That's not happening at Sprint, but they're adding people, so that's definitely a positive. Because Sprint was losing during Network Vision, they were losing millions of customers, and they're now starting to gain some of them back. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. I have lots more content coming. It was a busy day yesterday. But I have a lot of videos that I want to share with you guys today. Also, I want to talk a little bit about the Charter and Sprint merger possibly happening. That's something that Masa has his sights set on. It's part of his 300-year plan for SoftBank. So we'll see what the turnout of that will be. Definitely give these videos a thumbs up. It keeps me motivated. keeps me going. Like, share, subscribe. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.